Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been so 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 long that I haven't vlogged for this channel and it feels like I've almost forgotten how to vlog. But regardless, I'm back and the main reason I wasn't vlogging was because your camera with which I'm recording was big deco for the past. I don't know, I don't even remember how long man. Basically, I like the camera in the Zanzu when I vlog the pizza lockdown colleague of Vela, Tivela, Boronu. I tried to make this camera in Nepal and I bought a camera in Hong Kong and I bought a flight to cancel the flight I am finally back and I have a normal quality video I don't want to make a normal quality video I don't want to make a normal quality video I don't want to make a normal quality video I don't want to make a normal quality video Obviously you guys are following me on Instagram as well so updates are coming out and some of my vlogs, I was basically using my Sati camera like we were so back and forth we were using it because that channel is a bigger priority at this time in place but yeah, I'm gonna be back unless this camera breaks down again <laughs> which hopefully now is because we are not going to be able but yeah, regardless, today is Monday, first day of the week for training and today is Tika Kurte, Kuntarik Tamal Thabayana. I have an SBD session. It's late at night, 7 7 30. Gym Bunny changed by Sagyo the last time you guys were here. Uh, din matur din suwala. And let's get started with the workout. Alright, guys, so just done with the workout and uh, gonna be doing the voiceover right after the workout. Moving on, uh, just cause like Paila, uh, when I was doing the voiceover later, I had forgotten mostly what had happened and the actual thana on it is okay so uh, just a better setup I guess uh, but yeah so this week was actually made a fourth week of this uh, intro phase into SBD training as you know because Paila Mero training was uh, less specific and I was doing rehab stuff I was doing uh, front squat I was doing uh, dumbbell bench presses this sort of exercise so you blocks it was reintroducing back uh, frequency on the big three lifts, uh, mainly the squat, bench press, and the deadlift. And squat ma, uh, we introduced three times frequency like before, a uh, deadlift ma two times, and uh, bench press ma four times a week, which has predominantly worked the best uh, for me. So we're reintroducing. So it was a really short block, uh, three weeks just accumulation, and then this week is actually a deload. We started off with three sets of six at 190 kilos per squat, uh, but Squat match, I didn't really need a taper or deload because I was feeling fresh and I felt good. So RPE 8, 8.5, but I still went a bit conservative uh, with uh, 190. It was around RPE of 6, 5 to 6, I would say, uh, the first set. And then uh, the RPE got slightly harder, but nothing difficult at all. But I had taken a break, so let me come back. All right, guys. So squat suck you. I have a little something to do between mirror sets then that is to feed my puppy ha has alka dilo bhaisyo bichara parkhira hola ha baby bitra mutis sit 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 no Doggy is like super duper hungry all the time. Uh, we adopted this puppy, but uh, adopt one. That's always and I thought it was like a street pup, but uh, she's actually not. <laughs> Would say she's a uh, abandoned Saint Bernard because she didn't grow as much. But modernly, how we found her cute and she's such a nice girl. Uh, taking care of her, so usko potty training kaise boy sa kaise na? So I literally have to, you know, uh, bring her out of her core, which she lives in every one to two hours, I would say. Ani raati chay ali kadi control karsa because she sleeps, but other than that, uh, just uh, some work to look after the puppy, but it's a good thing and. Like everything else, it's just a process taking care of her. So I'm in between Mero, in between my SBD session. 
squat sakyo ela khone 12 sets garaune and now back to bench press uh, all right so back to bench press and bench press day was a bit uh, well, i think i pushed the last week a bit too hard and uh, i was fatigued mera oh, you know when you're fatigued when like your shoulders are hurting your elbows or your wrist hurts uh, one side it's just because of overuse and that's nothing to be worried about if your training is obviously structured uh, but i think in terms of bench press because it's an easier movement i pushed it a bit too hard uh, the last week uh, so bench press i had to decrease intensity from last week which you obviously don't know but last week i done five sets of seven with 95 kilos but today i uh, just ended up with three sets of seven with 90 kilos about rpe 7 to 8 i would say so uh, bench match it playing conservative also because my elbows and shoulders are a bit uh, worn out so bench press was that and followed by some conventional deadlifts after like in conventional like in sumo gari ra chu uh, and conventional deadlifts say hasn't been feeling really good this uh, meso cycle the entire way because the first week i skipped a conventional deadlift because i uh, and, and i didn't skip conventional deadlift but uh, i came back from uh, lamjung and I was so tired I couldn't do conventional deadlift and last week when something happened I couldn't really do conventional deadlift and actually I skipped it completely I think it was before the Lamjung trip so last meso cycle ko strength level ma pani chaina conventional deadlift so uh, nothing to be worried about it's on my main lift a body le halka gara garecha but nothing to take home I did uh, 3 sets of 5 with 180 kilos RPE about 8 or 9 I would say it looks really easy I know but Uh, it felt uh, difficult i was up to something i'm going to do some pull ups and call it a day and i will see you guys in day 2 on wednesday uh all right guys so for wednesday's workout this day is normally mero squat bench press and upper body accessories day but since this week Uh, the main goal is to reduce fatigue as much as possible this is the end of a meso cycle deload just stay ho when uh, volume is reduced i don't get that that beat up obviously i get flat and stuffs but i don't get that beat up so this day squats completely remove nahi gar deko cha from the exercise because i don't want to accumulate so much fatigue uh, going into the next workout which is on uh, friday bench press thyo yo din ma and i ended up doing 115 kilos for Uh, four sets of four, but in the video you're seeing probably 120. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, in the first set I did 120, and then 120 felt a bit too difficult for it to be around RPE seven to eight mark, probably around eight and a half or maybe even nine, uh, since it's a deload week. But I'm just pushing the weights because the sets are uh, less compared to other days. On the second set, much I just ended up doing 115, and third or fourth, I'm doing 115. नहीं मैं कर दिन डेट सम अदर एक्सेसरी स्टफ्स विच आई डिड नट रेकर्ड माई फ्रेंड वॉज देयर सो गफ काफ गफ कर अलग मिस भो एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द फाइनल डे अफ द विक विच इज द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग डे एंड आई एम स्टिल कैंड ऑफ सोर फ्रॉम दैट वर्कआउट आई थिंक आई पुस्ट इट अलबिट टू मच मोर देन वॉट आई शुड हेव बट सिंस इट्स अ एंड अफ अ मेजो अनि फ्राइडे सैटरडे संडे आई डोट हेव अ वर्कआउट दुई दिन रेस्ट थी आफ्टर दैट Uh, workout so i decided to push slightly harder uh, than usual so first my squats the three sets of three the prescribed rpe was 8 uh, to 8 and 1/2 so i did a warm up set with 210 and it felt quite easy so i decided i'll do 220 kilos so the first set i did 220 kilos as you're seeing on the screen right now and this was a perfect rpe 8 i would say because i'm usually a slow squatter like mera slow dekhe bachi I can do one more set one I'm not I can do one more rep after the rep looks slow so this is still not slow so I would consider that 8 or at most 8.5 so a uh, second set pretty much 200 and 20 lene gore but the second set was a bit hard uh, so the third set I just went down to 200 and 12.5 kilos which I did not record but uh, 220 kilo squat for a triple is not really a PR but uh, pretty close up there and considering I've just been accumulating for the past 3 weeks this is huge uh for mero meet when i compete this was he had bench press bench press i think uh, ego took over a little bit uh because the last week i had done 125 for a set of 3 uh, which was around rpe 8 and then i kind of got greedy after and my left on training log here and my pr triple was 127.5 which i did 
a few months back for five sets of three and he, I thought like the whole week I was telling myself you have to do 130 and I ended up putting 130 on the bar but it was a bit too hard uh, uh, hard than I expected it felt heavy and then the first rep my hips came off the bench uh, pretty poor technique on the second rep my, I tried to correct it but then the weight started to get heavy and then third rep my bunny uh, it got pretty hard I would say around RPE 9.5 which I definitely definitely over uh, shot by a little bit. I had to pay the consequences because if I had done, had I done 127.5, I would probably do three sets of three with 127. But I got so fatigued, my shoulders were pumping, my triceps were hurting, my elbows. Sabai kura thake dosto bhai rathiyo. So I just uh, ended up doing 122.5 for another two sets of two, uh, two sets of three. Uh, ego took over a little bit, but I'm still happy considering. Uh, I'm still making PRs at this point in my training and later on it's obviously a plus point. And finally deadlift college, I don't know why, but I was getting super duper hyped up for this uh, session uh, because I had something to prove to myself that I am, you know, working really hard. Like I'm just telling myself not to be uh, greedy or whatsoever, but I felt like I'm on, I'm at another level. <laughs> it's also because of the music in the background but it felt like i was at another level with uh, my competition Marumna. and big my biggest competition is myself obviously and uh, i was really hyped up so i was thinking i'll do 240 for a double and two sets of two months right here so i thought i would do 240 for a double but i did 240 and then it was really really easy Marumna. rp 5 to 6 points so it's an easy reply maybe i could not have done uh, five more reps but it felt extremely light the first rep uh, so then I decided 250 is obviously the magical number for me, a number very close to my heart. <laughs> uh, my PR is enough 250 for a double, but uh, looking at the speed, it's definitely a PR. I would say around RPE 9 again, maybe 8.5, maybe 9. And then I just grinded out two more sets with that. And that's the end of this workout, like pull-ups or Ritheo, Nordic curls or Ritheo, but I did. I, I don't think I recorded that really but uh, that's basically the end of the workout and end of this mesocycle which I did not log obviously uh, so what's my plan for the next two weeks is like this week I'm gonna do something conservative heavy uh, maybe like 235 on squat for a single any 137 140 on bench uh, for a single and deadlift uh, maybe around 265 around that mark I want to do something around that mark and if everything's been feeling exceptionally well dude i have a trip uh, planned to the far east of nepal so ilam japa side uta ilam side dharan dankuta kata sandakpur tyo side ma i have a trip planned obviously we're doing it for some way vlogs and i'm going to be uh, traveling uta tira halka halka for a week and obviously i'll i will not be training the entire week and uh, it's a bit hard uh, for me mentally to not be able to train uh, for a complete week, which is obviously a little bit more than a week. And like, I'll start to feel small and everything. But uh, but when I look at the long run, uh, one week does, will not really make a difference, uh, especially if I am really overreached and I've pushed really hard this last uh, three weeks which I have like I've been squatting religiously three times a week bench pressing four times and deadlifting uh, two times pretty heavy and you know uh, with everything that's been going around without the camera lil bhairane so so uh, I think looking at the grand scheme of things it will not make so much difference to my uh, career as a power lifter uh, and this was a 15 weeks out Hunsa, and obviously I will have to travel because of the vlog and of a calm stay by secure vlogging bunny or lily like part time calm just by secure and that's what I travel got to but obviously not to remote areas maybe like Pokhara or places where I can train hopefully international trips soon so <laughs> uh, waiting for that one as well and that's basically it guys about your channel ma I have recorded a lot of content for this channel but haven't been able to edit I live on a vlog or edit going to uh, and yeah, that's basically it guys. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog if you watched up until now Please let me know in the comments. Maybe say 
uh, hashtag big boy or something. <laughs> or I'm a hashtag big boy. Let's put it two weeks, but see, I will try and be more regular for this vlog. Exciting things coming up. If you're interested for uh, coaching, please let me know. Powerlifting goals, matra hai na. Fitness goals, body composition goals. Just want to be healthier. Uh, just want to learn how to diet better. Uh, I will help you guys to reach your full potential. And uh, and until next time.